This is Kuk and Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're in Saudi Arabia, ahead of Ruiz Joshua 2. Clash on the dunes. I'm joined by, if it's in Saudi, this man's fighting. Mr. Al Qatani, how are you, sir? I'm happy, I'm good, I'm great, I'm excited, I'm ready to get on the bill, ready to do the work. Just here now. You're like the, the first name usually on a Saudi card now, isn't it? It's the way it is for the last couple of years. Your name is on there first because this is your 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 background. Not only but it's my first name, it's, I'm that good in it that you have to put me in the bill. <laughs> I got the talent to demonstrate it. So God willing, God willing, December seventh, we're looking to put the work there. Talk to me about when you got the call to officially put you on this. You know, you must be excited about it. It's a huge heavyweight fight this year between Joshua and Ruiz in the rematch. We saw what happened in the first fight, but yeah, initially getting that call to be told you're on that card, how did it make you feel? I thought over the moon, I thought excited. This isn't a better build to be on it. It feels like Ali versus Frazier in the thriller Manila, George Foreman versus Ali. So this is my time, my era, I'm here to do the work. That's how I feel, I thought you should say it, man. Over the moon. I'm fighting for a title, so I'm just get it. What can you hear me? <laughs> so here, we saw you have a little conversation with Anthony Joshua yesterday, uh, where he said something to you, or you said something to him. Can you reveal what that was? Basically, I saw Anthony Joshua many years back, and I was telling Anthony Joshua he's going to be champion, and I'll box on his undercard. And you remember that? He was like, yeah, yeah, I remember that. We were talking about that, a little bit of memories. So, apparently, a prophecy you had has come to reality and a big card, Andy Joshua. It's very loud here, but let's try and get through this. Joshua goes into his rematch this week. All eyes on Joshua. Was the first one an off day? Was it Ruiz was the better man? A lot of questions are going to be answered this week in the heavyweight division. Do you know what? It's heavyweight boxing, baby. Everything goes down. Joshua is an amazing guy. He's talented. I believe Joshua's got all the skills to win. Uh, I believe Andy Lewis got all the skills to win. Uh. I can't choose a man. I don't know who to favour. Uh, the only thing I can say, made the best man win. The hunger is real on both fights. Like I can see in their eyes. They both want it. They both they want it. They're hungry. So, I'm not sure that answered answer the question, but made the best man win. The first event I interviewed you at in Saudi was at the World Boxing Super Series final between uh, George Groves and Callum Smith. We've seen Amir Khan fight here and now this. Is this now going to be the hotbed for boxing, especially here in the Middle East? As you see it, Saudi's continue to grow. Saudi's holding bigger events, bigger and bigger over time. This is the biggest event now in probably a decade now. Uh, Saudi is a new place now. It's going to hold it. There'll be more events here. Don't be surprised that it'll be the new Vegas in Saudi. Saudi Vegas. <laughs> Saudi Vegas. Um, all right, well, listen to her. Thank you very much for talking to our footy. We wish you the best of luck on Saturday here in Saudi, and we will catch a word with you after your fight come Saturday night. Thank you, Coogan. Thank you, IFL TV. It's an amazing channel, the best channel, the best YouTube channels, and you do the best interviews. And to all my IFL TV fans, follow me and Zara Katani on my Instagram. We look forward to seeing you guys, man. Massive love. Coogan. Special.